think we have a maintenance hanger. And we have some pretty big airplanes and they need tire changes. And let's say that tires arrive at a rate of two per day that need to be changed. So let's say that we have two bays. Um, the state here is going to be the number of tires that need to get changed. So we're going to go from state zero to state one from arrival rate of two. Same thing from state one to state two. And let's say that they can be changed at a rate of two and a half per day. So when we have two going at a time, we're going to be servicing at double the rate because we have crews working. So we have, we could do five per day to get from state two to state one. And then when we only have one going, the rate's going to be two and a half from state one to state zero. So let's say we want to know the probability of going from state one to state two. I'm going to call that P12 because this is your pre marker today. This is going to be equal to Q12 over Q1, where Q1, listen carefully, probability is the sorry, is the total transition rate out of state one. So state one can be exited a couple different ways. You can go from state one to zero or one to two. And the sum of these rates is going to be four and a half. So in this case, two plus two and a half, four and a half. So if we were to watch this process from the top, we would see items exiting on average. We expect to see them exiting at four and a half per day, hours per day. Transition rate from one to two is going to be two. So this is just going to end up being four. So two, that's one, two, the transition rate from one to two, divided by the total transition rate out of Q1, which is or state one, which is going to be four and a half, and that's four nights. If we want to look at it going to state zero, we just say, all right, what's the rate, transition rate going from one to zero divided by the total transition rate? In this case, it's two and a half. And now we have five nights. So similar idea, and they have to sum to one. If we want to look at the probability of going from zero to one, well, the total transition rate out of state zero is two. The transition rate from zero to one is two. So it's just two over two, which is one, which intuitively makes sense. 